Good morning, everybody. I hope that you're having an awesome day and are looking forward to some crafting time, either today, tomorrow, or Friday, or over the weekend, at any time. Anyway, let me share a couple of things that I've done to create texture plates and or a pseudo embossing plate. Here's my first one. As you can see, I've just used a piece of chipboard. This is a, a backing from a paper stack. Um, and I've just added some circle cuts and I've got two layers of circle cuts on here and um, pretty simple to do easy to do actually make sure that you glue them on do not use tape like I did or you'll have results like this where if you use tape it may slide a little bit and you will have um, an uneven impression unless you want uneven impressions then go ahead and do it with tape but then you don't have a guarantee as to how it's going to look. All right, so there's that one. Way back in the day when Sizzix first came out with the first Eclipse, they created um, a way that you could make your own embossing plates. So they did, at that time, they didn't have a whole bunch of embossing folders. Um, everybody still had all of their ProboCraft, Cricut, Doris, um, and that, and they're just wasn't a huge number available on Sizzix. So um, they created this plastic, and it's a heavy duty plastic um, folder that you could make your own. They aren't available anymore, but you could do the same with um, some plastic that you might find in packaging, um, like on large, um, oh, who is it? Anyway, on some large packaging um, that some other companies might use in their pro with their products. So anyway, what I did is I just cut this out of chipboard. This is a thinner piece of chipboard. And um, I just create, I don't remember where I found the ghosts. They're probably from SVG Cuts. Um, and then I just created my own embossing folder. And you just, you put your paper on this side, put your... Um, and then run it through your embossing machine. All right, so um, Pam asked me to show how to do this. I made two cuts of the, the window shutter, all right? And then, because I wasn't thinking clearly, I still had some glue, um, adhesive residue on this piece, and so I was running it through the embossing machine and it um, adhered it <laughs> to the template but it will still work so at least two layers of your cut okay if you're just using regular um, paper card making paper um, and this is 110 weight so I have two pieces of that of my cut they are um, sandwiched together using glue Okay, and then this piece is added to it as well. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna, I don't have a piece cut exactly the same size, but I'm gonna take this piece of paper, I'm going to run it through the embossing machine. You won't, you won't need another um, shim or anything because your shim is already on the back of your um, plate of your texture. All right, so lay it down on your paper. I would use the exact same cut that you're gonna use for your shutter unless you're gonna make the shutters and then trim them out later. That's up to you. Okay, and then you're just gonna run it through your embossing machine. And I run it back through because I want a good impression. All right, if you notice that, gave a pretty good thing. All right, because I'm using white, you're not gonna see a whole lot of um, impression until, let's do it like this. Okay, this is vertical. And this has, uh, most, most of the impression is upward. So it's embossed. So I'm just gonna show you what it looks like because I won't be using this one. 
All right. That's how you do it. Um, and then when you use your cut, all you have to do is just very lightly brush some ink over it to bring it out. But this is just a demonstration, so I hope you like it. Embossing templates um, are really easy to create and you can have lots and lots of fun with them. I hope you have a good time and hope you'll try it and then share your results with us on our Facebook page. Thanks.